Hello dear student, this is your maths class. In last class we have discussed about the set, what are set and types of set. So today we are going to discuss representation of sets by Venn diagram. How sets are represented by Venn diagram. Okay. So please open page number 11. Representation of sets by diagram. A set may also be represented by a diagram, simple closed geometrical figure such as a circle, oval and rectangle can be used to represent the set. Okay, so generally only circle and oval shapes are used and the member of the set are usually shown by a point inside the, inside the figure that are the member of the set. So now look at here the first example set A is equal to 1, 2, 3. A set having member 1, 2, 3 can be represented by any of the following. Set can be represented by a circle, a oval shape and a rectangle. A set A having members 1, 2, 3. So we represent this set by a point inside the figure 1, 2, 3. In the same way in oval shape 1, 2, 3. In the same way in rectangle, 1, 2, 3. So in this way, you can represent a set by a diagram. Now set B is equal to A, E, I, O, U can be represented by in the similar way in circle, A, E, I, O, U and in oval shape, A, E, I, O, U and in rectangular shape also set is represented by diagram then the member of the side are usually shown by a points inside the figure whatever may be the figure that may be a circle that may be oval or that may be a rectangle okay to set to write a set in the tabular form when its Venn diagram is given. If you have to give a Venn diagram like this and you have to write the this Venn diagram set in tabular form. So what you have to do here? First of all, the set A is represented by a Venn diagram given along this side and here clearly 0, 2, 4, 6 are the member of the set because they are lying inside the figure and represented by the point okay and here are some members 1 and 5 also here but they are not the member of this set why they are not the member of this set because they are out of the figure so set a in tabular form is equal to set a is equal to here the element 0 2 4 6 so 0 2 4 6 now close the curly bracket now here two members are also 1 and 5 but they are not belongs to the set a why because they are out of from the figure okay representation of two sets in the same diagram now two sets can be represented by same diagram so now look at you here set a having member 1 2 3 4 and set b having member 2 4 6 8 and 10 here two members this two is also present here and this four is also present here so means these two elements are common in set A and in set B. So how can you draw the diagram? So you have to draw the two circle means two intersecting circles and the insert intersecting point or intersecting portion is having the member which are common in the set A as well as set B. Here common elements are 2 and 4. So we write here 2 and 4. Both are common. 
now you have to represent here the element of a means the remaining element of a except 2 and 4 so remaining elements are 1 and 3 so 1 and 3 now here you have to represent the remaining element of b so remaining element of b are 6 8 and 10 6 8 and 10 so in this way you can represent two set in same diagram when the element should be common and you can represent that by intersecting diagram okay now here the next way of representation of the set let p be a set of member a b c d e and q be the set of member b c d here two sets p and q are given and again here common members are here b b c c and d d three members are common and here in such q no other member except this means q having the only three members which are already present in set p so you have to represent this by a venn diagram so you have to draw two circle like this so here q having less element and all the elements are present in p so first of all in inside circle you represent q here q having element b c and d and now you have to draw the other circle which represent the set p having the member b c d which is already present in this and now the remaining members are a and e so you have to write here a and e okay now one another way to represent the set is this let set a having members 1 2 3 and set b having member 4 and 5 now look at here both the members are different no member common so you have to draw two separate circles and represent set a having member 1 2 3 1 2 3 and the set b by the circle having member 4 and 5 4 5 this is the wing diagram of the two set which has no common member okay now we start exercise 1c question number first look at the venn diagram and fill in the blanks with belongs to or not belongs to so here one diagram is given to you here a set a having member 0 5 and 10 so set a having member 0 comma 5 comma 10 and these two elements are not belongs to the set A. Why? Because they are outside from the circle. So we have to fill these blanks first. Phi dash A. So phi present in set A. So 5 belongs to A. Now second, 4. Your 4 is present or not? No, 4 is outside. So 4 not belongs to a 0 yes 0 is present in the set here so 0 belongs to a 2 no 2 is outside from the circle so 2 not belongs to a now 10 here 10 is present inside the circle so 10 belongs to a okay now question number Two, write the set A represented by the Venn diagram in tabular form. You have to write the set in tabular form means like this. Uh, set A having element U, V, W, X. So, set A in tabular form is written as set A is equal to in curly bracket U, V, W and X. Okay. These are the four elements that are in the set and this Z is not belongs to this and this Y is also not belongs to the set. 